We'll guide you through how to download and install Minecraft mods on Mac. If you find this guide useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. Mods are super cool as they can go and change how the game works, add different things. So let's go and get right into this. First of all, come and close out of Minecraft and you need to go and open up a web browser. I'll go and open up Chrome. First of all, let's go and get the mod or mods. If you've got one in mind, go and search for it. Or if you're just looking to go and browse, go and search for a site called CurseForge and you can come to curseforge.com. Select Minecraft, you can click on categories over to the left and then select mods. Then what you can do is go and scroll through here and start looking at the different mods available. There are loads of different ones and you can go and use the categories on the left here. In this case, I want to get just enough items. I'll go and click on it. Then we can scroll down. You can go through the description to go and get download it though. You need to click on files to the right of it there and we can then scroll down and you're going to go and see these different options here. The main thing you need to look at is the game version and the mod loaders. So we need to get the mod loader for Forge and then the game version, we need to make sure we get Forge for that version. So just note it down. In this case, we're gonna get it for 1.21.1. So we'll come over to the right, click on the three dots and click on download file, and we can go and wait for it to start. Just before we get into the next step, a big thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. They should be your go-to Minecraft server host. At the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. So I'll go and put a link down below, which you can go and check out. We can scroll down and start to check out some of these awesome features like one click mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and 24 seven live chat assistance as well, amongst many other benefits. So it's definitely worth going and checking them out. I'll put a link down below, as I said, a big thank you to them. What we need to do next though, is go and open up a new tab and we need to go and search for Minecraft Forge. Forge is basically the mod loader and how they go and run. So come to the official site, files.minecraftforge.net then what we need to do is go and get the version that we got the mod for. So I got it for 1.21.1. So I can click on that over to the left and then click on it again. Then we can click on installer. Just be aware any download button here is for the ads. You need to click on the skip button in the top right and it's now finished. Then what you can do is come out of your browser and you need to go and open up finder and you want to come to your downloads. Then what we need to do is go and find forge and we need to install it. Go and double click it like so. This is just a security pop-up which we can go and fix. However, if you get another pop-up or it won't go and open, it's likely you don't have Java installed on your computer to go and run JAR. So what you need to do is come back to your browser. You need to go to java.com. And then what you can do is you can go and download it and you can install it and then return to it and it should be able to run. Now we need to go and fix the security problem. So open up your system settings, scroll down on the left and select privacy and security. Scroll down and you want to click on open anyway when you find Forge. I can use my touch ID there and we can then press open and now we should be able to go and install it. So select install client and then you can press OK. Just like so it's finished. So you go and press OK and you can then close off this. Go and keep this folder open here though as we'll need it shortly and you need to go and open up Minecraft. In the Minecraft launcher you need to go to the top and go and click on installations. Go and scroll down and locate Forge. Hover your cursor over it and go over to the right and there you should see a file or folder icon. Go and click on it and the folder should open up. Then what you need to do is you need to go and find the mods folder. Scroll down and you should be able to go and see it. If you can't, you can always go and create one. Double click on it and then what you need to do is drag and drop your mods in here. So I'll do that here, just like so. Then come back to the launcher, you can go and click on play go to the left of the play button and we can go and select the profile and change it to forge. Then click play. I'll open my inventory and you can see the mod on the right here. Of course, your mod may be different. 